The Crossus Front was just released and in this video I will go over the 4 new methods of training fishing, hunter, woodcutting and mining in the new area, how good the experience is and how easy it is to train, and the requirements to train in this area is 88 for the normal nodes and 92 for the enriched versions, you will see very shortly what the difference between those are, but the requirements in this is meant to be high. The experience you gain in this place is very stable, meaning you will most likely reach the same XP an hour consistently even over long periods of time. So what I decided to do is to try out each method for 30 minutes, double the experience I got and in that way I could know the hourly rate of experience. I started with mining and as you can see there are non-glowing and glowing nodes. The glowing nodes are the enriched versions that give slightly more experience and reward you with enriched supplies. So after half an hour on the mining area, you get 34,000 mining experience with my current setup, give and take 5% up and down, that is roughly 65 to 70,000 experience an hour, which is not that great if you compare it to Light Animica, which requires around the same level that gives 160,000 experience an hour. Now for the woodcutting training here, it is not as consistent experience as mining, the XP drops are way higher here, but also a lot slower. You can see in the clip that I am showing right now that sometimes it can take a very long time to even get one cut. So with that, keep in mind that the XP rates here might vary a bit more than mining from player to player, as it's possible I was unlucky or lucky with my success rate compared to someone else. Still, I don't think the XP rate should vary too much. 30 minutes is up at the woodcutting nodes and the experience an hour at this area for me was 48,000 to 50k roughly and compare that to Ivy which is equally AFK and gives around 75,000 experience an hour, this is a pretty bad training method as it also requires very high levels compared to Ivy. Just like the mining nodes, the fishing nodes have more fast and consistent experience drops meaning that the experience an hour is easier to pinpoint here. You do receive resources very quickly here though and I would highly recommend you to use the consume option on your fury shark outfit to completely halt all the resource gain, if you do not have that you will lose a lot of experience due to dropping all the algae. After fishing for half an hour the hourly rate of experience here is around 90,000 which so far is the best rate but nothing too impressive. The waterfall afk fishing in Priftenas is around 120,000 experience an hour and it's actually more afk than fishing these nodes so you can compare it with that. The last area being the hunter nodes is also very consistent experience and a lot higher than the rest. It also gives a lot of resources just like fishing that stacks up in your inventory rapidly. Here I would highly recommend to use porters to not hinder your experience rates. I have to say after completing half an hour of training here this is the one that gives the highest experience rates but it is kind of expected from Hunter. I received an hourly experience rate of 410k and comparing that to an equally AFK method being charming moths in the wilderness which can range from about 300k to 900k an hour depending on boosts so let's say 600k on average that means this method is a bit more than half of that, granted you do not have to be in the wilderness for this method at least. The only boosts I really used in this video trying out the different methods is the skilling outfits and the only one I do not have is hunter, so you can add about 6% experience on top of that, which you would get if you had a full outfit. However, regardless of boosts or not, I think it's pretty clear that none of these methods are the top tier methods. Most of them give roughly half or less experience than the best methods for the level they require. There is an upside to this though, and that is the troves, anima and possibly the resources themselves that you gather. I haven't really looked too much into them, but I'm pretty sure they are used for new types of potions. The troves give an array of different items that are obtained once every 5 to 12 minutes, so these methods will at least give you some extra GP for the loss of efficient XP rates. But that is my review of the new skilling methods in the Croesus front. If you have a lot of more XP boosting items to bring, the rates will be higher than I had, but none of these methods will still be the best XP in the game. So it's up to you if you think a bit more money is more worth it than experience rates an hour. Thank you for watching the video, remember to like the video if you liked it, and only 25% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so make sure you do that if you want to be notified when I post new content, but with that, have a good one, take care.